So last time we were working on Farmer John's circuit. We had x, not y, and z, or x, y, and not z, or x, y, and z. Now I did make a mistake in the previous video, so and I fixed it, so if you didn't know that, I fixed it. Now what we need to do is make the circuit diagram for this, and it's a little bit complex, so later on in this video we're going to learn how to simplify it. So we have x, y, and z. All right, so we're going to take our first x, not y, and z, and you see I put an inverter there. I'm going to link, put all of these circuits near, or these outputs near each other, and we're going to make an AND gate for all of these. So that's x, not y, and z. That's all we have right now. Next up, we need to do x, y, and not z. So we're going to take the x and the y outputs, and we're going, or inputs, and we're going to put them together. And we're going to invert the z input and put them all into an AND gates. So we have the first two done. Now we need to do x, y, and z. So we don't need any inverters for this one. And I'm just pulling the x, y, and z inputs near each other. And now all we do is make the or AND gates. Next, we need to connect them with OR gates. And one final OR gate. And now we're done. And this is the simplified circuit. It's a lot simpler than the other one. So now, what we're going to learn how to do is some Boolean theorems. They're magical! So these aren't all the Boolean theorems, but these are some pretty important ones. First, we have x and not x, and that equals 0. Next up, we have x or 1, and that is equal to 1. Then we have x or not x, and that equals 1. Next, we have a simple dis distribution problem. Just like in math, we can pull x out, which is a common term between these two, and then we can change it to y or z. So in this equation, we have x and y, or x and not y. And we're going to pull out an x first, because in Boolean simpl simplification, we want to work with smaller pieces of the original equation. So now we're left with y or not y. So in a previous theorem, we learned that y or not y is equal to 1, because when we when y is equal to a 1, it'll output a 1, because the first y is a 1. And when y is equal to a 0, the y that's inverted will make it a 1. So this sim equation simplifies down to x. Next, we have consensus theorems. These are very important, so I suggest that you write all of these down. You're going to use them a lot when you simplify stuff. So now we're on to the big equation, Farmer John's circuit. First thing I want to do is I'm going to pull x out of this, because we want to work with smaller pieces when we simplify in Boolean. I'm sad to say that there's going to be a lot of trial and error when you're trying to solve an equation on your own. Some ways you might not work, and you just have to keep on trying different approaches at it. So now what we're left with is x and not y and z, or y and not z, or y and z. So now we're going to continue by bringing the x down. And you see we have a common term of y among those. So we're going to pull the y out. But first we're going to write our not y and z. And we can't pull the y out, the not y out with it because it's not the same as a y. So we have y on the outside. And on the inside of those parentheses we have two z's. We have a not z or z. And that will, by one of the theorems, can simplify down to 1. So when we distribute the y with the 1, we're just going to be left with x and not y, z, or y. And that looks really familiar. Can't quite place my finger on it. Oh, guess what? It's one of our consensus theorems. Oh, I told you those would come in handy. And that's it. We can distribute the x, and we're left with x and y, or x and z. Yay, look, Farmer John's happy and his son's crying. We've done a great job. All right, and there we go. We can write it as x and y, or x and z, or we could write it the easier way, which is x and y or z, which was the equation that we learned last video. And we're done with this video. Stay tuned for more things like Boolean logic and maybe some calculus stuff. Ooh.